In this episode of Did You Know, we're going to look at setting the primary column when you create a Dataverse table. Most people take the default, and I'm going to try to convince you that you should take a minute and look to see if you should change the name on it. So I'm about to create a table called Question, plural name of questions, and it's tempting to just go ahead and hit Save. But before I do, I want to go over here to the tab that says Primary Column, and this defaults to Name. Every Dataverse table gets a primary column. It shows when you have lookup data. And it also is used when you're setting values and things like that. You want to make sure this name is appropriate. So for example, if I had a table of questions, having a question called name doesn't make sense. I probably want to go ahead and have it called question. So the only time you can change the logical name, this name here, the schema logical name that we're setting, is when you create the table, you can set it. You can change the display name at any time. You also might want to go ahead while you're here and make this not required if you're going to be generating the value on some automation. Maybe it's something that gets generated and you don't want the user to have to input it. This is where you can change it from required to optional and populate it through automation. Now, I can go ahead and hit save. And if I wasn't quick enough to go ahead and do that when I created it the first time, maybe somebody else created it and they were foolish enough not to look at that tab, you can come over here to columns come down to the field. You can always find it because it has primary name column next to it, even if it was renamed. Go ahead and click on it. And you can change the display name now, but you can't change the logical or the schema name once it's been created. You'll notice that there's limited things you can do also. You can make it auto number, for example, if you're generating the value or want it generated. And you can control whether it's searchable, and whether it's required. So in other words, if you forgot to set those things when you created the table, you can change everything except the schema logical name once it's been created by just going to columns. So my advice to you is take that extra 10 seconds to look at the primary column and ask yourself, is name the right name for this column or should I choose something different?